This is too expensive and you should stop buying it. This is the Hubble NEMA 1450 outlet. It has got to be the most popular outlet for EV charging because it's industrial grade and it's just the one that's been recommended by so many people, including myself. All those recommendations have translated into supply shortages and rising prices. So it's too expensive. Don't buy it anymore. I'm going to tell you what to do instead. Coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't buy this outlet anymore. In 2020, I did a review of several NEMA 1450 outlets and the Hubble was my favorite. It was also the most expensive. Back then I paid $68.88 for this outlet. Now, you think that's a lot of money because the ones I compared it to were like 10, 15, even $20. These days it's going for, wait for it, around $150. That's right, more than double. So don't buy it anymore. Let me show you a couple of options. Now the NEMA 1450 plug is probably the most popular, I can't back that up, but I would say most popular plug for EV chargers. Because they deliver 50 amps, they're one of the fastest ways to charge your car with a plug-in EV charger. Now to use a plug like this, you have to have an outlet like this. That's how that goes in. And this is the NEMA 1450 outlet by Hubble. These are now, like I said before, $150 is the approximate price in April of 2022. They may be more expensive by the time you watch this. Now the first alternative I'd like you to consider is this one. This is the Hubble HBL 9367. This is a NEMA 650 outlet. Now 650 means it is also a 50 amp outlet, same power as that one, which means it'll charge your car just as fast as that one. But this one takes a plug that only has two prongs on it plus the ground instead of the other one. In reality, the car doesn't need this prong anyway, so this is a neutral. It only uses the 240 volts it gets from these two prongs. So it gets 240 volts from these two prongs and you can use a Hubble outlet. It's just one that's not as popular. It's made just as well. It is still industrial grade. It is about $50. It's a great alternative if you don't need to use a NEMA 1450. Now let's say you really want to use an EMA 1450. Let's say you already bought an EV charger and it came with that kind of a plug. So what can you do? Well, here's another alternative. This one, I'm telling you, is virtually identical to the Hubble. It is the same size. It has the same types of connectors on it. It has the same clamps to clamp down the wires. It's the same weight, it's the same quality. Now what's the trick? The trick is this one is made by Bryant and Bryant is made by Hubble. So it's basically a generic version of the Hubble. This one I bought for $45.88 and I got this from Granger. I couldn't find this anywhere else online. So I bought it from Granger. This is a great alternative. So for $60 as opposed to $150, if you really need a NEMA 1450, this one is just as good as this one, really, just as good. Now, regardless of which outlet you choose, there's a reason why I'm gonna try and convince you not even to go with an outlet. In my last video, I talked about a lot of EV chargers like this one from Emporia that come with NEMA 1450 or 650 plugs, but a lot of them, including this Emporia charger, you can actually hardwire and there's real advantages to hardwiring your charger. Now, if you're going to hardwire your charger, you can use a standard, this is a 50 amp double pole breaker, and you can use this if you're going to hardwire it. But if you're using an outlet, you can't use this kind of breaker because it doesn't provide any kind of shock protection. Instead, what you need is what I have here. This one is a GFCI breaker and you can tell because it has this little button right here. 
Now, what's the difference? Well, that one costs about $150. This one costs about $20. Big difference, $20 versus $150. So if you're thinking about installing an EV charger in your garage, think twice about putting in an outlet because if you go for that Hubble outlet, which is $150, and another $150 for this breaker, that's $300. Put that towards the cost of a hardwired EV charger, and I'm telling you, the math works in that direction. It's much cheaper, I think, to just do with a hardwired one. And that's whether you have a Tesla or a third party. I'll put a link to that video down in the video description where you can pick any one of those third party chargers and I'm telling you, the best value on there was the Emporia, the one that I have installed here. That one works great, and it's only $3.99. So that's a great alternative. You can hardwire that. Avoid the whole thing. Don't bother buying an outlet for your EV charging. So I hope I convinced you not to buy the Hubble 1450 outlet. It's really a waste of money. You don't need to spend $150 on an outlet. I do love the outlet, don't get me wrong. I still use it in my garage but I gave you two other outlet alternatives that are much cheaper, a third of the price. But I really think the best alternative for most of you is going to be to just install a hardwired charger in your garage. I think that's going to be the absolute best for a lot of people. So that, with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. If you are a DIY video creator struggling to find an audience, join Handy Dad TV and get instant access to an established audience that will provide more views and income than you're getting on your own. Just go to handydad.tv join for more information.